Heavenly Father, I pray for unshakable trust. Psalms 125 verse 1 says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. Dear Lord, I trust in you and your steadfast love. Please help me to be like Mount Zion, unshaken and enduring forever. Keep me firm in my faith, and may my heart be anchored in your promises. When the storms of life rage around me, be my rock, my refuge, and my strength. May my trust in you be unwavering, and may I stand firm on the solid ground of your word. Please help me to rest in your sovereignty and to lean on your wisdom. May my life be a testament to your faithfulness and love. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray to be completely surrounded by your love. Psalms 125 verse 2 says, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. Dear Lord, surround me with your presence, just as the mountains surround Jerusalem. Be my refuge and protection, now and forevermore. Keep me safe from harm and fill me with your peace. Enfold me in your loving arms, and shelter me from the storms of life. May your presence be my comfort, my guide, and my strength. Help me to feel your loving embrace and to know your peace that surpasses all understanding. May your love be my shield, my defense, and my hope. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for righteousness to prevail. Psalms 125 verse 3 says, The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Dear Lord, I pray that the wicked will not prevail over the righteous. Keep me from temptation and evil, and help me to always choose your way. May your justice and righteousness reign supreme in my life and in the world. Help me to stand for truth and to be a beacon of hope in the darkness. May your righteousness be my banner, my shield, and my sword. Give me wisdom and courage to stand against evil and to proclaim your goodness and love. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for goodness and uprightness. Psalms 125 verse 4 says, Lord, do good to those who are good, to those who are upright in heart. Dear Lord, do good to me and to all who are upright in heart. Show us your favor and grace and help us to walk in your ways. May our hearts be pure and our motives be true. Help us to seek your face and to follow your lead. May your goodness and love be our portion, our inheritance, and our joy. Give us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to obey your commands. May our lives be a reflection of your goodness and a testimony to your grace. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 5 Heavenly Father, I pray for peace and banishment. Psalms 125 verse 5 says, But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with the evildoers. Dear Lord, banish from me all crooked ways and evil thoughts. Keep me on the path of righteousness, and may your peace be upon me and upon Israel. May your peace reign supreme in our hearts and in our land. Help me to turn away from sin and to turn towards your love and grace. May your peace be my comfort, my guide, and my strength. Give me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to obey your commands. May your peace be the foundation of my life, 
the hope of my heart, and the joy of my soul. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear friends in the Lord, as we conclude our morning prayer, believe and trust that what you have asked from the Lord has been granted you in Jesus' name. As I pray, I remember that salvation is not a solo journey but a communal celebration. So, let's commit ourselves to sharing this morning's prayer from the Psalms with those around us, family, friends, and neighbors. Together, let us embark on this spiritual adventure, supporting and encouraging one another as we walk towards Christ-likeness. May our collective pursuit of God's heart foster a sense of community, accountability, and joy, so that we may collectively experience the transformative power of His love and grace. Amen. You may subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thanks for praying with us and remain blessed in the Lord.